Hope you guys are excited as I am. I just got my Soma Terra. Um, I haven't played with this one yet, so I'm gonna kind of go through some of the basics that I remember from um, playing with the, the one that Soma Synths had at the NOM convention. And then I also got some hands-on time going up to uh, Santa Barbara and to their U.S. location. Um, the Soma Terra, uh, it comes with uh, this bag of goodies. So we have... To me, they look like the uh, like hair clips, and I'll get into what these are for in a bit. Um, and then it also comes with this uh, MIDI adapter. Uh, let's take a look at the actual device on the side here. We have a headphone out, and then left and right power. And then on the other side, we have some MIDI connections. There's a MIDI in and out, and then USB. The MIDI uh, in only receives a clock. And then USB, you can use it to save your presets, um, reload the firmware. Um, and I'm guessing in the future to upload um, other presets that people have come up with. So um, we basically have um, 12 touch um, controls on the right hand side and then four on the left hand side. Um, and then there's, uh, and I've, oh, it also comes with this handy little cheat sheet, quick start guide, which I have propped up to kind of help me go through some of this. So we have here a power LED indicating that the unit is on. Then we have parametric release, a uh, note release then what they call the water domain parameter light domain parameter overall volume then the effects processor time the effects processor mix and then um, you have off for the reverb uh, or echo and then one of these it really depends on the algorithm that you're in um, on how these interact. Uh, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and throw them in the YouTube chat. So let's just hear what it sounds like. I'm just turning it on. So, um, to change the algorithm, uh, let's start with that. You have here uh, L for low to preset, and 
right now if I hold it down this light turns on I don't know if you guys can see that but that tells me which um, preset I'm in from here you can also change so this bank will have 12 presets if I go to this bank it might have 12 and I say might because some of them I think don't use um, every um, every button to have something saved there are some empty ones which you can then use to save your own so we're gonna go to first bank and right now if I again hold L press number one then that's the sound you guys were hearing oh no it's not uh, I lied And then if I press L and then press 2, this is what we get. And then you'll notice too that if I tap it, um, especially in this algorithm, it sounds like a bell ringing out. But if I slowly press it, it's very muted. Also right now I have the effects completely turned down um, and the mix completely turned down. Let's maybe put those around 50% each. Okay, let's quickly go through these. Uh, number six. Oh, that's the default. That's what we were hearing. Seven. Now I'm not going to go through uh, every one. I think there's 96 different combinations right now. But I just wanted to show you how easy it was to change the algorithms and everything there was off of bank one. Um, you can also 
Oh. Let's see. Um, so on the left hand side we have uh, buttons labeled, uh, they're not buttons, they're touch sensors A, B, C, and D. Uh, and let's see what this says about them. Not much, um, but I know that they will change the the sound. Some of it's going to be um, like distortion, some of it's going to be delay, uh, and it depends on the algorithm that you're on. Um, I'm going to have to spend some time trying to figure those out. Um, and then right here on the bottom left, uh, it's hard to see, but we have a plus, minus, plus, and minus, and then an H, and then there's also another H here. So what this is, is this lets us uh, transpose. Now I'm going to go up one octave. Now we're going to go up two octaves. And you do have to hold it down. So if I, I'm not pressing it, I'm going to go back to what it was. And then another one. Then the H is going to be a hold. And we have two H's. So this one is going to hold what you press on this side. This is going to hold A, B, C, or D. So if I hold this note, press H, now H stays on, and I can pl freely play. If I press that, it'll release it. Uh, speaking of release, um, that's what these knobs are here. So we have the parametric release and the note release. And you can think of this just as a release for this is for this side, this one is for the notes. So right now it's very short. Uh, banana in the shot? I got a banana cable. How about my hands for scale? Um, so let's turn this all the way. This is the note release. So you see it holds a little longer. We'll turn that all the way down. And then this is the release for the effects. Yeah, it's, it's actually really intuitive. Um, and I don't know if this is the same on all the algorithms that they have, but you pretty much can go up to... And then 
in. So this little bank. And then seven through 12. What's gonna take some time is to just remember what all of these um, other settings do. Um, but as far as just playing it with whatever algorithm you're on. That's oh, very intuitive. Um, then you can also change the tuning you have a tuning fork right here so if we listen to this note and then we're gonna go up I'm holding the tuning fork and then I'm selecting here whether I go up or down so we're gonna go up from here and then we're gonna go back down individual notes or you can move everything up uh, microtonal you can shift it all up or shift it all back down so tune by semitones do microtonal tuning uh, uh, let's see what else do we have left right
so this is one that I found. Um, this is on uh, this bank, and it's algorithm C, and it has like a it's an arpeggiator, and you can control the speed of that by moving the the water parameter. Did someone say looper? We might be able to do that. Oh, and I've got the hold going. Okay, so I think that's just a, a, a good basics. Um, let's kind of cover what these little things are. So, the Terra has a gyroscope uh, inside, and let's see if I can go back to what we started with. So if you put these underneath, actually let's just listen to. So that's the gyroscope. Uh, you can set the sensitivity by pre holding the G and then you'll see uh, the lights come on. So if we turn it all the way up, it should be very sensitive. Turn it all the way down. So if you don't want to hold it, you can put these little guys underneath. and just kind of shake things around. to try these guys out and these are mounts for like speakers or st your stereo system and they have some springs inside and I plan to play around and try with right now I've got three springs maybe try two or one in the middle I'm gonna play around with it and kind of see but well I know Carrie you guys probably already tried all of them but I figured I'd experiment and start with three go down to one But now we have Thank you. 
set four three. Okay. I guess my, my question is, what do you call four up here? Uh, is it one, two, three, and then four? Well, let's try this four and this three. Oh, uh, yes, the arpeggiator. We were doing that one. the one actually numbered three. <laughs> All right. Uh -uh. Oh. <laughs> yes, the uh, lovely four three. <laughs> Thanks for joining, Carrie. free to pull up the manual on Soma's website and give me some other combinations to try. But yeah, with these, with these, I feel like I get a little more Z action um, versus just kind of... Um, X and Y rotation with these. Yeah, definitely. I'll keep playing with, with both of them and seeing what I like. Um, also, this is, you know, on my desk, but it's meant to be played on your lap. Uh, you can hold it and it's, it's not heavy at all. <laughs> So, really wonderful. But, um, let's see if I can get this through the cosmos. I'm gonna just put an arpeggiator on hold while I mess around with that. Backside. There's the backside. All right, I'm gonna go try to figure out the uh, the cosmos. One second.
Is that coming through for you guys? coming through check check mic okay and then I think you guys should be hearing it through the cosmos
go. That was the Terra through the Cosmos. And yeah, I think that's a, a good start for me. I definitely have a lot to dig through. What I plan on doing is uh, a lot more of these streams showing off the different algorithms, um, trying the you know LFO and the arpeggiators, and then also setting my own um, algorithms, doing my own tuning. So uh, thanks for tuning in, and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. Hey, Antone, did you just drop in? Uh, you're going to have to catch the video. Uh, I'll post it on, on my channel as well. But I'm going to do more of these, so just tune in for the next one. Thank mm -hmm. you.